Oh, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 24th of July, 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market uh, Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, where do we stand? Where are we positioned in terms of Europe? The Asian markets overnight, first and foremost, a mixed sort of bag here, but overall, more or less uh, higher. You are the Sensex, you are the Shanghai higher, Hang Seng higher although the Nikkei is certainly weaker, the Asian Dow is certainly higher as well. So from my perspective, it certainly is shaking off the concerns from the US. Now we have the Trump investigation with his uh, son Jr. Also, there's certainly some revelations now. Russian envoy over here saying he discussed campaign with Sessions. So Sessions uh, and story certainly uh, being revisited now via the Washington Post. Mr. Trump's tweet this morning, the Amazon Washington Post. So it certainly seems like he's having a jab or a dig at the, uh, the chap who owns Amazon, Mr. Cuban. So it certainly seems that the uh, political uncertainty is uh, is certainly uh, in the forefront in terms of the U.S. markets. Okay, uh, U.S. markets did actually shrug off the weakness on Friday. If I bring up the S&P 500, if you look at the actual chart itself, uh, as you can see, daily chart certainly broken out, so certainly remains bullish. 10-minute chart certainly did the gap lower, okay, and then eventually it go up and attempt to close the gap. So... That's something certainly that you uh, need to, to uh, look out for, okay? Okay, so certainly see my Google Drive certainly is getting full again. Okay, so I'll certainly uh, cater for that. Okay, so again, S&P 500 certainly coming into potential resistance, so certainly bear that in mind. Now, we are currently trading around the 2469 level. That is support seen at 2465, so there, those two factors certainly need to come into uh, play here as well, so bear that in mind. Okay, now in terms of... Uh, the uh, news flow this morning, uh, PMIs, uh, German and European PMIs certainly came in weaker. The uh, French PMIs certainly came in stronger. That certainly seems to be a theme this morning. We have had the IMF certainly downgrade the UK. So again, that's a cause for concern. Although European, uh, 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 obviously, view certainly remains bullish, okay, and remain, maintains its bullish stance. We have uh, US data out at 245, from US manufacturing PMI. Okay, existing home sales, that really is a focus for today. Uh, other than that, obviously, we have the euro currently at around the 1.1650. Again, that certainly being a concern. That being a concern for uh, U.S. markets, a stronger euro. Okay, so uh, in terms of uh, economic data, that certainly seems to be the status quo. Let's look at the actual charts now, folks. Okay, daily chart, or should we say going out to the weekly here. You can see we're certainly coming back below into that gap fill below on the weekly chart. Uh, whether or not we maintain the move higher is certainly in, it comes into question now. The DAX has made a higher high. One presume that this is a higher low and therefore you make a higher high again. So again, remain open-minded. That's all I can say uh, for now. German DAX certainly is under pressure this morning with regards to the auto sector. Uh, auto sector certainly uh, bearing the brunt of the selling this morning. And obviously a stronger euro certainly is hurting the uh, German economy as well in terms of exports going forward. If I bring up the euro USD, uh, having said that, the euro USD does look like he's into resistance now, so uh, one shouldn't get overtly bullish on the euro and overtly bearish on the German DAX. If you look at the daily chart now, you are now coming into resistance territory. Certainly, uh, certainly uh, <clears throat> shows that on the uh, the weekly chart as well. So therefore, when the euro is into resistance, European equities are into support, and therefore one would expect a potential rally and a bounce higher. Okay, that certainly remains a status quo. Okay, so going back to the German DAX here on the weekly chart, you're into gap fill, approaching gap fill support, daily chart, you are now coming up to potential gap fill support. So let's see exactly where we stand there. 60 minute chart, uh, you do have horizontal support or previous resistance equal support there. Again, be mindful of the gap at 12,050. Given the fact that the German automakers are, into, uh, are certainly under pressure today, that will keep the German DAX under pressure and may well close that gap below. So again, open minded, okay? Market could certainly swing either direction, but it certainly seems like the automakers certainly are hindering any uh, the German DAX's ability to potentially uh, short squeeze higher. Okay, so for now, that's what we focus on. Just going to take the highs together. Let's see if we can connect the lows together here as well. Okay, so again, that's where we stand. We've certainly had a bounce from that 12140 level up, uh, up 40 pips. Let's see whether we can sustain that and maintain that reversal. Okay, any move higher. We'll go into gap fill resistance first and foremost. You're looking at gap fill at 12 to 30, and then obviously resistance is above. Okay, so keep an eye on that. In terms of the uh, French CAC, let's go to the French CAC now. French CAC certainly is making a base, from my understanding. Certainly has made a double bottom. Okay, uh, given the fact that French PMI's data was certainly stronger as well. Certainly looking for a rally up to that 5150 zone. That's what I'd be expecting up to that 5150, potentially 5160 as well. So certainly looking for a reversal and a move higher on the uh, French CAC. Looking at the daily chart on the French CAC, you are into 
uh, approaching gap fill. Gap fill is at 5060, so be mindful of that. We may well close that gap. Certainly is a possibility, but you are into previous resistance equals support for now. Okay, in terms of the euro stocks, whilst we're looking at the European indices, again, daily chart remaining to support, gap fill support, looking for a bounce. 60 minute chart, double bottom, triple bottom, so therefore looking for a bounce, especially given the fact that euro is into resistance. The FTSE 100 certainly is a very strange one. <clears throat> Today, certainly finding uh, immense resistance or immense weakness, even though uh, the uh, OPEC news certainly seems to be bullish overall. Okay, and it certainly is maintaining the highs above $47, uh, so therefore one would expect that to be bullish. But it seems like the uh, stronger sterling certainly is weighing on the FTSE as well. If you look at sterling here, 60-minute chart, we're still in that 1.1, uh, well, certainly above that 1.3 zone. Certainly need to dip below below 1.3 to really see the uh, the actual FTSE certainly uh, prosper as well. So bear that in mind. Uh, there is resistance here. This is a key inflection point. You are into resistance for now. And therefore, one would expect the FTSE certainly to uh, move higher based on that. The FTSE Vault VIX index is certainly into resistance as well. And therefore, you are looking for a pop higher. Uh, 60 minute or daily chart at the, at the moment is into that key horizontal zone support. 60 minute chart, you can see we're into key support in this zone here. This is your critical level. Or key level of support we just seen here taking this uh, lower body here okay so between the 7370 7380 and 7360 zone certainly solid support for the FTSE itself looking for a bounce now given the fact that we've fallen from that 7515 it's uh, quite a prolific fall okay down uh, almost 150 pips almost okay so therefore looking for a short squeeze bounce that's my expectation that's what I'm trading so I'm certainly talking up my book at the moment but certainly looking for a potential pop up to that 7390 potentially even higher up to 7404 looking for double bottom to hold here as well okay that's the status quo for european equities please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs certainly take advantage of the bonus and be sure to download trade signal the latest app goodbye now